Well, if you're just tuning into the El Paso sports scene for the first time in, in about four or five months, the UTEP Miners playing in their first bowl game since 2014 today. I just got back from two days of New Mexico bowl coverage, but I wasn't alone. There were more fans in Albuquerque on the UTEP side than the Fresno State side earlier this afternoon. The Miners looking for their first bowl win since 1967, but we're doing so as 11-point underdogs against a nine-win Fresno State team. A win for the Miners, not expected, but then again, neither was a bowl berth to begin with. And UTEP came out and showed everyone why the projections don't matter. First half, here come the Miners, right out of the gates, fired up in their home whites to, as I've talked about, a louder UTEP crowd than Fresno State crowd, and they gave him something to cheer about early. First half, this is Ronald Awat on fourth and goal. Dimmel rolls the dice and it pays off. That puts UTEP up 17-9, an eight-point lead over the Mountain West powerhouses. But Fresno State would score 10 unanswered, and in the third quarter, Jay Kaner, backside bootleg, fires over to Jordan Mims. This is why I'm hot into the end zone. That makes it 26-17. You think the Bulldogs may be about to blow the doors open. But then Dana Dimmel, head coach, reaching in to a bag of tricks on third and one. From midfield, they've got backup Calvin Brownholtz in, in there under a herd of cattle at the line of scrimmage. You think QB sneak here. So does everybody. So does Fresno. But peekaboo, it's Trent Thompson who's all alone for the house call. That might be the best play call I've seen in two plus years of UTEP football coverage. Here was head coach Dana Dimmel on this exact play call after the fact. Take a listen to what Dimmel had to say. Just something that you save for big games and we thought this was a big game for us so it was important for us to you know, try to get everything out there that we could because we were playing such a good team so we couldn't leave any, you know, we had to put everything out there we could. So back to action, the Miners then trailing 29-24, back in this ball game in the fourth quarter, but a safety proving costly. They were pinned up back near their own goal line. Actually, this ball came out, and the Miners were lucky. It wasn't recovered for a touchdown by Fresno State, but just two points. UTEP still in the ball game. They're trailing by a touchdown. 31-24, under five minutes to play. UTEP with the football at midfield, trying to keep the drive alive. Gavin Hardison trying to extend the play but it gets popped free from behind, balls out, and the Bulldogs recover. A costly turnover by the two-year starter at quarterback, and you can see the emotions from Hardison. I love Justin Garrett there. That's the senior wide out there going over to his quarterback, putting his head back up. Heartbreaks for Hardison. Fresno State would run out the clock to a bowl victory. Final score in this one, 31-24. Interim coach for Fresno, Lee Marks, hoists the trophy. And for UTEP and Gavin Hardison, they come back to El Paso as the losing team. Heads hanging low there, but in the long run, a lot to be proud of for this Miners, Miners football team that just a few years ago was 0-12. Now year four of the Dana Demel era, they get to a bowl game and have a lot of momentum moving forward. I was just up there in Albuquerque spending time with the team the last few days. ABC7 Sports Director Adrian Ochoa was alongside me up there in Albuquerque. He ties a ribbon, including post-game sound from Albuquerque. Well, that's going to put a bow on the 2021 season for the UTEP Miners. A valiant effort by UTEP, but the Miners falling short in the New Mexico Bowl by that final score, Nate, as you just showed, 31 to 24. Now it's on to next season. The Miners going toe to toe with the Fresno State Bulldogs, but in the end, Fresno State making more plays. That fumble at the very end in the fourth quarter just proved costly for the Miners. But for the Miners, this loss is really going to sting for a little while. Yeah, it was a big building block for us um, as a program. Uh, just, you know, just building off of this year and just understanding that we just did not get the job done and we didn't finish. And uh, the, just the motivation to come back and finish is uh, is what I feel like everyone in the locker room has right now. Yeah, I feel like overall, like we played our best, but you know, sometimes like your best not, you don't get the job done overall. But I feel like everybody really played the best tonight. These guys came to UTEP because they wanted to make a difference, and they've made a big difference. And so they were really emotional uh, in the locker room and, and uh, because they care so much. And the emotions were good. They were raw, but they were strong, and it was, uh, it was good stuff. And so proud of those guys and all. And they, and they just have left 
the program. You know, any, what all of us can do is when we leave someplace, make it better. And these guys have made it so much better. So that's going to do it for us here from University Field in Albuquerque. Adrian Ochoa, ABC7. Yeah, I'm assuming the miners probably returning to campus right about this hour from Albuquerque. So that wraps up officially the UTEP Miners 2021 football season. Seven and six, the final ledger, but a lot of excitement now moving forward. Gavin Hardison, Tyrese Knight, both those guys will be back for next year's team, as well as Dana Dimmel. You have to think a contract extension on the rise for the Miners head man.